Hi, chat. Welcome to another stream. How y'all doing today? It's uh, Monday. March is here, of course, as usual. It's the 26th of July of 2021. And we're back for another stream. I really need to do something about my microphone at some point because I was recording some YouTube videos and I noticed that anytime I touch the desk, you get some uh, ASMR there and uh, <laughs> unintended ASMR. Um, I got to get back to where I had it set up before where it was a hanging stand and then I can do whatever I want to the desk and it doesn't make a noise. Um, but I haven't done that yet, so <laughs> such such is life, I guess. Uh, let me say hi to everyone who is here, and then we will jump into the programming for today. Uh, Andrew the next was first. Hello, hello. It's good to see you. Nyrum is here, and Beldavis, and Crow is here as well. Uh, do who else do we have? Don't forget to rewrite Pabby and Russ. Hmm. The Devil Kid's here. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Keller Marku, good to see you as well. Damn, never first. Yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. If you want, if you want the cheat codes, Keller Marku, the way to know when it is about to be stream time is I notify on the Discord, but also I type into this right after I go live. So if you ever see... Andy Satilli is typing in in this channel. You know I have already clicked the live button, and you can time your hashtag first there. Crow says W3Schools.com. What is this website? I've never heard of this before. Ah, oh, shit. I guess we're going to drink for this stream. <laughs> it's planned. I had a bottle of wine. <laughs> Got him. Uh, zero. Hello, hello. Welcome back. How's it, how's it going today? Um, we're going to be drinking... It's a blend. I've already started drinking the bottle, so... Marquez Turia. Uh, it's a... Bobal Shiraz blend. I don't know what Bobal is, but... Cheers. Cheers, chat. Um, Bori Mori. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Shaz Robots here. How's it going? Marsha says, hi, plushies and anthog. I like how I'm second. <laughs> it's not hi, anthog and plushies. It's hi, plushies. Oh, yeah. Also, hi, anthog. Good to, good to see you streaming. <laughs> RKJ, hello, hello. ASMR Python stream. Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, the keyboard kind of does that in a, in a way. But, yeah. Can we get him to finish the bottle? Yeah, I think we'll finish the bottles. I'm fairly certain. If we don't finish the bottle, something has gone wrong, probably. Come for the plushie, stay for the anthog. I mean, to each their own, I guess. Silly button says ASMR capture time. I've already logged in. Unfortunately, we can do we can do one. Oh, that's print. Fuck, I got it wrong. We can do one ASMR capture for you. Just just for chat. The other thing is these don't show up on the YouTube, so these are a Twitch exclusive. Um. <laughs> anyway, there's some training data for uh, CAPTCHA solving bot. <laughs> Does Anthonk wear Anthongs? Um, I used to have a pair of thongs. <laughs> I can't just Google that. The thongs shoes. There we go. I used to have a pair of, of thongs. So specifically, flip-flops with this in the middle, I believe, are called thongs, right? Right? It's not it's not just the the, the over flip ones. Like these are specifically the type. Like they have to have this strap to be a thong. Am I wrong? I don't know. I used to have a pair of those, and then Tofu destroyed them. <laughs> um, and then I haven't bothered getting another pair. 
But no, otherwise I don't wear thongs at the moment. Uh, they're hit or miss. Yeah, that one wasn't... I mean, that was still kind of weird, but not quite good. RKJ says, Nani? Knowledge says you're being judged by a nano user. How's it going, Knowledge? Welcome back. Good to see you. Risky search of the day. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, but I wanted to check out the auto-update day, because today is auto-update day. It did succeed for the first time, because I got all my pull requests in the last four weeks. Uh, so that means the... Well, it doesn't... I don't know whether it means our work was successful um, last week. Um, I don't know whether that other whether the dead user got uh, requeued or not, but we'll we'll find out. We'll see what happened there. Um, but we enqueued. Wow, three and a half thousand repositories. Why can't I see the number? Oh damn it, AWS. <laughs> Why do they always have to ruin their charts? Uh, three four three five one one. There we go. You can't see it. It's off screen, but three five one one. How many repos got enqueued? Outfrost, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. And we see this spike as we always do, and it scaled up and handled it, and there's a spike after it ended? Question mark? I think this is about the time where I started merging my stuff. We do have 26 in update, auto update dead letter, which is not great. Uh, so we'll be taking a look at those, seeing what those are. My guess is they're banned users or the user that we fixed last week, and we'll see what happens. Is your shiny Pokemon thing still working? Yeah, we talked about that last stream. Um, it, it They really only update every once in a while. Juice! What's the dot dot dots? Wait, what? Welcome to the stream, Juice Box Hero. Why, why, why? Why, why, why you dot 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 dot? Why, why you do this? Um... Okay, let's take a look at these dead letters first. Why are the kitty tentacular? <laughs> uh, they don't. They don't quite fit. <sighs> yeah. So Zane and or sorry, Zach and uh, Ty don't don't exactly fit in the shelves, but but I don't know. It's close enough. They're, yeah, chunky plushies. Cubic cubic plushies. They're now squishies. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so let's take a look at Dead Letter. This is the highest we've seen in auto update Dead Letter in a while. Um, may, there may be bugs, but my guess is it's banned users again. Uh, 26, though. Which means we're going to have more than one page of messages. All right, let's take a look at these. HSF training. They do exist. Um, they do have a .github directory. It does not have... Huh. It does not have a pre-commit config. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, where's, where's what's his name? <laughs> It, my guess is these are all going to be HSF training. And they probably enabled it on a bunch of their repos and then disabled it right as the auto update was running. We can actually verify whether these are enabled or not. Uh, results slash install slash GitHub slash HSF training. Okay, they have disabled everything except for this repo. So we can ignore almost all of it. Uh, this is what happened to our children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have Zane. You have Zane, Juicebox Hero. I've, I've got Zach. God, you don't even know your own children's name? Oh, poor Zane. Holy <laughs> shit, fuck training. Yeah, right? HSF. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hey, what's up, Plot Stream? Hello, hello, welcome back. They're twins, I can't tell them apart. Your own children? Your own children? Can't tell them apart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I can tell them apart, so. Okay. Uh, all right, these ones. So the problem is I can't just do this because I waited too long. And be like, couldn't delete the 10 messages. And that's fine. So we're going to do poll again. I guess we'll just cycle through all of them until we get to the final chunk. My guess is these are all HSF training. HSF training, HSF training, HSF training. Yep. 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 Okay. Are we fast enough to delete here? Nope. All right, so we'll pull one more time. And this should have gotten us the whole set of them. And it looks like it's all just HSF training this time. Okay, so that does not tell us whether our band user came back or not, but those ones are all accounted for. Uh, let's actually see, how would I do this? Hmm. Well, they still have a profile photo. Whoa, that's weird. They didn't have a profile photo last time. <laughs> last time. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like their account still exists, but... <clears throat> do your new coworkers know you stream? A few of them do. Not many of them, though. I've not been aggressive about a uh, about advertising. Oh, I forgot to press play on the music. I've just been listening to my dishwasher in the background. Um, a few of them know. Uh, I have not been aggressive about advertising it at work. Uh, <laughs> at Lyft, I had it as my status on Slack the whole time. And people be like, "You tr you stream on Twitch? That's really cool." But I. Have not done that yet, mostly because, uh, um, yeah. Oh boy, what the fuck is this? The severity field was added to the code climate format. What the fuck is code climate? Do we have this? I don't think we do. Oh, someone added it. God damn. Actually, that MD5. Yikes. Um, the severity field. If the severity field was added to the code climate format, the output would meet the requirements to be used for GitHub's code coverage. So just severity one, severity minor. Wouldn't it be severity not minor? Who gives a shit about this. Infa minor, major, critical, or blocker. Uh... <laughs> Severity says optional. Uh, it says optional. Sounds like Git uh, or GitLab is doing this wrong. Um, but I love how this has fuck all tests. <laughs> so like, I have no idea whether it works or not. I guess I'll merge your pull request. Just kind of don't feel like I should. <clears throat> 
Yep, you know, just delete from where username equals HSF drink. Uh, so they already they already deleted on their side, so I don't have to do anything there. Stories come stream, they're like, dang, this guy hates his job. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck Codec Limit was. Blocker is like the highest priority. Like, I can't get my work done because of this sort of thing. Akram says, Salam, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Social string and not just string, shaking my head, should have type checked it. <laughs> it's optional. It means it does not need to be present. Um give a shit. I don't give a shit. We're gonna merge this. I don't give a shit. I'm not logging in. But that means I have to make a release. Blech. <laughs> my favorite thing about GitLab is I log in with GitHub. Uh Silently merge this. And then I gotta make a release. Fuck. GitLab.com. PySQA placate JSON. Ha ha ha. Oops. Oh, we have to look at some other stuff with the auto update before we're done. Uh, Git show. Oh, it's calendar versioning. What month is it? Seven? Seven. Gross. Okay, command dash M. Release flake a JSON twenty one dot seven dot zero. And then get Tag 21.7.0 dash M uh, GPG sign. Damn, god damn. Is it just dash dash sign? Git is a world of consistency. Okay. Oh, we should fix the underscores and dashes. Oh well. That's for another day. I'm pretty sure I said the same thing last time I released this thing. Um Oh, I should also let you know, chat, I'm not feeling so well today. Uh, so I don't know how long this stream is going to go for. Although I'm pretty sure this glass just shatters if it breaks. Um, I've been having, I've been having like, <laughs> I'm sure drinking doesn't help. Uh, but my, my stomach has been real grumpy at me. Warnaki, hello, hello, welcome back. How you doing? Yeah, I don't know what month it is. I hate these things that have too many sign in with fields. I don't use Epic Games thing very much, but every time I do, it's like sign in with only 16 things. Yeah. Yeah. At least I remembered it was 2021. No, it's not too much biking. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure I ate some food that was not so perfect. Exonity. Hello, hello. Get Billy Grubbs from Carpet. If only it were that simple. It is not, though. GitLab has told me there's a sign in from a new location. It's true. I did log in. That is um a thing that I did. Okay. Enough of this shit. Um who's the person that I know that does this? Not you. Hmm. They must not be in the public people. Um but I know I know one of the people that works on this. <laughs> Can't remember who it is though. <laughs> no bike eating. No, I didn't eat that bike. Can I eat the bike shed though? Depends what color you paint it. Uh okay, so I wanted to see if the last time came back. I'm pretty sure they did because we saw their we saw their entry already. So we know they came back. Uh so that means GitHub still doesn't fix their shit. TBQT, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, I see. 
Sick. <laughs> the dishwasher's done. So now I can open the door. And <laughs> so it's not so hot in here. Um, what else did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to look at the runtime metrics. And then we're going to work on the thing that I started working on last time. Um, I actually got ahead and I saved the paint drawing so that I don't need, uh, I don't need to redraw this again. Records of chat. Hello, hello. Welcome back. How are you doing? Good to see you again. No more dishwasher ASMR. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, what the fuck was I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, metrics. Oh, they moved everything around. Oh, I definitely don't want that. This is what I want. Select them all. Uh, 12 hours. Our queue bump. Ooh, that's worse than usual. The five minute queue. It's not so great. Usually it's three minutes, but today it was five. I don't know why. Maybe it's fine, but also it's not ideal. Uh, but other than that, the graph looks fine. And it was really only three minutes for a short period of time. And it was really only out of APR, so hopefully not a big deal. If I had to guess though, um, what probably happened is the slow ones got enqueued and then um, they failed. Actually, queue time. Yeah. No, we would see pair error. We would see an increase in run failure as well. Yeah, that might be what happened. Hmm. We also see a bump in queue times. I don't know what happened. Uh, I could probably zoom in and figure it out, but. I don't really care. It seemed to work well, so that's good. Oh, we also want to see how many runs we're up to. Dynamo. Look a bit pale, says Warnocky. What do you mean? I'm like very, very tan right now. <laughs> Priox, hello, hello. Because chat says, I just spent hours today figuring out why open is slow. Turns out it was the network. I copied the file locally and opened it, and it was almost immediate. Nice. Yasin, hello, hello. Looks like you need a soup, maybe a couple of cookies. Man, I gotta stop eating. I can't have cookies. I can't have cookies. No, I wasn't biking at night, Marsha. I just posted the message about going fast at night. I was not, I was not, I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not that dumb. <laughs> I'm not gonna bike at night. That's a good way to get dead. Um, I don't necessarily want to get dead, you know? All right, runs. 127,000, almost 128,000. Okay, cool. I wish there was an easier way to see this over time. Probably a metric for it. Actually, we can just see if there's a metric for it. Uh, Cloud Watch. Mm, all metrics. We want Dynamo DB. We want table metrics. Is there not an item count? Okay, none of those are item counts. Uh, count metrics? Nope. People operation metrics? No. Index metrics? No. Why is this separate? Oh, I don't know. Well, there isn't, there doesn't appear to be a uh, item count metric, unfortunately. What are you trusted advisor? <laughs> uh, an idea. Not really sure. Uh, hey, what's up, OM? Hello, hello. You don't want you dead either. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, I wonder if Anthony's code bot uses Babby when it codes, or maybe it uses Nano just to annoy Anthony's code. <laughs> I mean, my bot doesn't write code, so hopefully it's not using either text editor. Okay, so 
let's uh, work on the thing that we actually want to work on today, which is... We were working on the runner last time. And I don't remember what we're doing. Actually, I do remember what we're doing, but I'm gonna pretend like I don't. <laughs> we're gonna run the tests and demo what's not working, and then we have to implement this function. Um, I think this is one of the last pieces to the puzzle in figuring out uh, and getting this thing working, which is to parse the Docker API config response and turn it into language information. Um, like a so, which will be tricky, but we should be able to figure it out. Um, last time, so just to give a, a full recap on what we're, we're doing here, I have already implemented all the stuff in black and we are implementing the stuff in blue. Uh, we have made a base image and a minimal image. This minimal image tags just what's needed to run most pre-commit hooks in pre-commit CI. So Python, maybe it'll contain Ruby, maybe it'll contain JavaScript. Um, but I'm trying to keep it small so that I can keep my auto scaling fast. Um, but pre-commit CI supports a whole bunch of different languages and I want to add all of those. So we're gonna add them as layers beyond the minimal image in a full image. And then I'm gonna do some fancy stuff to pull down each of those individual layers and then mix and match them as mounted volumes on top of the minimal image. Uh, so this allows me to just pull the small image and auto scale based on that, but lazily pull any of the other languages. And uh, what we're implementing, so we, we've already implemented the actual image production. This, this is all done. Uh, we have one, extra language layer at the moment, which is Swift. We'll move Go and Rust and add Conda and .NET and a whole bunch of other ones later. Uh, but I wanna get this proof of concept with Swift working first. And um, then, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And we have already done the number one here. We are working on number two. And then we're gonna work on this part here. And then we're gonna work on the computation of the mounts and the M variables. So hopefully piece all this together and get it all working. But yeah, that's what we're doing. What if your body uses Microsoft Word? Oh no. Tab tab, display all 40 billion possibilities. Haha, <laughs> yes, please. Oh no. Probably makes videos too using PowerPoint. Hmm. Hmm, if my bot could make could make videos. Oh no, wait, Yasin, you just changed your name. Oh my goodness. You have, you have different name now, but it's still you. Um, Lem says, I'm gonna come back in a couple minutes. Nice, sounds good. Yasin says, I have this issue running Redis on Docker. Oh boy, okay, I already know what your problem is, but. <laughs> Even the hello world image test does not run and throws an error at me. The daemon is running and everything is installed. So, um, so if I remember correctly, oh man, this is an oddly specific piece of memory that I'm accessing at the moment. So if I remember correctly, Redis and Docker are incompatible in a very strange way, depending on the file system driver that you're using. Um, in that Redis tries to do a move or cop layer copy or something like that where um, overlay FS just does not support that particular operation, if I recall correctly. And the fix, if I remember correctly, is to take your data chunk and put it on a mount. I could be wrong there. I might be misremembering. MySQL had a similar bug. But yeah, post the error message and I might know a little bit more. Take your data chunk and do what? Put it on a mount so that it's not using the image file system, but instead it'll use your host file system. Although, overlay mounts are a little bit weird in that sometimes they act slightly like overlay FS and not like your host mount. So, I don't know. Not sure how that'll actually work. 
Jonathan Fly, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are doing well. Isn't there something weird with huge page file? Maybe silly buttons. Maybe. Could be it. Um, okay. So let's implement this function. For which we wrote a test for last time, but did not implement. <laughs> uh test worker test test part test parse languages pool problem with putting it on a mount is the mount is only a two percent drop from the rate cost oh, no. <laughs> knowledge says oh no is this still the docker image layer bs you were doing yeah although i took like a week break from it so i haven't been like completely working on it full time ish so Yes, we are still we're still working on it. It has been what how many weeks in the making now? Playlist streams. Wow. There's 362 videos in the streams category, so you could almost watch a stream a day for a year. and to waste an absurd amount of time because they're like three to five hours each uh okay so freaking i'm still working on it yeah, here here um yeah okay so we've been working on it since the seventh we were 19 days into working on it just a lot. <gasps> Shit. <clears throat> uh, runtime and it failed. Permission? What the fuck? Starting container process. Container init caused. What? Kind of fetch program from ID. Get program by ID. Permission denied. The fuck? What happens if you Google that? Renagi says, stupid question. Do any of you know if there's any specific QT, cute oriented test framework that's BDD friendly? I don't know. I don't know the answer there. DDL, spell hello. Notifications are broken for me. Hope you're doing well today. I am indeed. Sorry, the notifications are broken. Damn it, juice box hero. Fix your fucking site. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> oh. I moved the ticket back to the backlog, hoping that I never have to work on it again. 10 out of 10 would simply transition Jira's status again. Oh my god, I totally know that. I totally know that feeling. Totally know that feeling. Hey, what's up, outdated version? Hello, hello. Welcome back. Good to see you. Marsha with the bongo attack. It's true, it's true. Uh, I'm trying to get a non-coder to do tests for my code. We're not gay, we're not gay. I don't know if you've been here for my rants about BDD, but I'll give you a TLDR, I guess. Expecting that you're going to be able to, oh, my hands are peeling. Uh, expecting that you're, oh, freaking, <laughs> my ADHD is fucking nuts sometimes. Okay, so BDD is behavioral driven development. And the TLDR behind it is you write essentially English that gets hooked up to um that gets hooked up to code and that english oh you, you write you write your test as english they get hooked up to code and that forms your test and the like selling point of bdd or at least the promises that are made by bdd are that oh you can you know write some little bit of of boilerplate up front and then your product managers will be able to write tests and it never fucking works that way <laughs> never ever 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 because what it really boils down to is a developer has to write all that shitty glue code to make the bdd framework kind of hobble along and when anything ever kind of goes wrong with bdd it's just a goddamn nightmare to debug because you have to like spend some time debugging how the translator turned your english into code and then you have to debug the fucking code bullshit and 
And often you have to bend over backward in your like English generation bullshit to actually map it to a functionality in code. And then you have to, you, you essentially end up having to describe the whack ass code in whack ass English. And then, you know, expecting somebody who doesn't know anything about code to write that whack ass English properly, you might as well just teach them how to write Python at that point. And then, oh God. And then I haven't even gotten to the point where like most of the BDD frameworks in Python are just awful. Uh, and I don't know, if you look up behave, which is the most popular one in Python, scroll through the issue tracker. The guy is kind of in that case. And if you want, if you want some real popcorn, search Asatilli and then behave. And then you can find the, the issue where I describe a very reasonable test and then the maintainer's like, well, that's that's not how it's supposed to work. So, no. <laughs> uh, whereas PyTest was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's super broken. We should fix that for literally the same exact bug. So, you know, yeah. My two cents is you probably don't want BDD. And if you absolutely think that you want BDD, it's not what you think it is, but anyway, anyway, what I can say is I know I know, but hear me, I have a slight degree of trauma about it myself. <laughs> if you want more trauma, just keep trying to use it. <laughs> uh, the glue code makes you want to pull out each and every hair on your head. Yeah, controlled English is even worse, yeah. He also says product managers are bad at actually doing boundary analysis. Product managers are bad at generalizing examples, making effectively each scenario its own written test anyway. Reporting on BDD is shit. Oh god, the reporting. I didn't even get to the reporting part. It's like, here, have a fucking stack trace. Good luck. <laughs> uh, zero says actually. Yeah. You have a lot of sippy modes? Hmm. Ah, oh, Flatster, Flatster has already found the link. I already know you found the link because I, I recognize the number 533. That's definitely, that's definitely the issue. Yeah. Where's the, here. Consider it the venerable program time. God, I fucking love Buck. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Consider I'm writing PyCat, a portable version of Cat written in the high level Python 3 language. <laughs> At this point, I'm baiting him, like 100% baiting him, but. Yeah. <clears throat> <sighs> <laughs> I like how they reopened it just to uh, close, let it close again. <laughs> this won't fix. Fucking stale bot. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Anyway. What can I do about it? Can't tell them to fork themselves off. I mean, you could. You could. Uh, if you don't care about the waste of time, just go through it with them, and then you can explain the problems that you face with BDD as a strategic system. It doesn't really allow them to do what they think it will do due to the limitations of BDD frameworks as a whole. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 100%. 100%. Okay. Why? This is not the right test. We're looking at... Oh, boy. This is gonna be an interesting stream. I'm already starting to slur my words. <laughs> Maybe I haven't finished the bottle yet. <laughs> ah! First languages. Okay. So, this is the test that we're implementing right now. Uh, I think the test is fine. So we can mostly ignore it. Hamplo Eco, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. All right, so we have to config. Cool. We have to pick out this layer from this chunk here 
and this chunk here, and this environment settings here. That is what we need to determine out of this. Wait, why is this a dictionary? This shouldn't be a dictionary. It should be dictster and then language config, not dictster dic blah blah blah. Right? Parse languages. Yeah, yeah. This is this is not right. The test is wrong. Already. God damn it. Uh, parse languages. Oh no, I have to sneeze. Oh no. Not the sneeze. Oh no, not the sneeze. Now the sneeze left. That's even worse. Damn it, sneeze. Image languages. <laughs> Renaki says, I, I may have to do that. Wish me luck. <laughs> Priyak says, good luck, Warnaki. Make it happen. Dino says, I had some success with BDD, but not when a product manager was involved. It was to give us easier to understand testing for the people on our team who are not knowledgeable experts in the realm we were in. But DSL, domain-specific language things, are effectively things that need to be learned and passed down. So if you can put things into a more abstractable language, you can actually help more than trying to pigeonhole things incorrectly. Yeah, it's true. Filcher. <laughs> Barely knew ya. Uh, I get it. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Blue bomb sneeze, yeah. Uh, Flosser says, do you have a personal preference for Python file length? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think this should maybe tell you about where my file length cuts off at. <clears throat> right around 3,000 lines. <laughs> Um, but I do like, I do like, I like big files. I cannot lie. <laughs> because it's often, you know, easier to organize when everything's in one place. This was actually split up for different reasons, though. Um, but it is about where I draw the line. Right around 3,000 lines. Uh, sneeze, why you do this? Yeah, and mostly also, also Koros. Hello, hello, welcome back. Mostly also, BDD is not about testing frameworks, it's spaces to have a discussion with stockholders about systemic behavior or system behavior. Yeah, framework jump on the wagon to automate it and glue it with code, but it... holy shit, that sentence got away from me. I don't know what you were trying to say there, but I agree with you, independent of what you were trying to say. <laughs> What is the problem in that issue? This this issue here? Uh the, the behave issue? The problem is that the mocking or the monkey patching that behave does breaks standard out and standard error for binary output. Even just writing to the binary streams is broken. Um and I fixed this in PyTest. PyTest it works correct. That was actually my my I think it was my last feature I sent to PyTest before being added as a maintainer. <laughs> so it, was the, it was the last thing I did that people were like, yeah, you can have a maintainer, but ship it. But yeah. Uh, DL says, we, we would have benefited from a better parameterized testing framework within Java, but couldn't pull some of the ones we wanted in due to limited Java versions. Oh no. Oh no, we're currently upgrading the Java version at work. Um, both the JDK and the JRE, but to different versions because reasons. Uh, and let me tell you, it is a struggle because <laughs> we have we have the JVM. We also, I mean, we have we have Java that we run on the JVM. We also have some. We have a bunch of Scala, 
Then we also have Spark jobs. And Spark is very specific about the versions it supports. And Scala is also very fiddly about the versions it supports. So we're currently juggling all three of those to try and upgrade everything. Uh, Adder Paris, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm working mostly with VDHL and Verilog. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, so BDD may come in handy as a general idea, but the glue code is making my life difficult. Yep. 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 Uh, I've seen tiny header only libraries that were three to five K plus. Yeah, that's pretty common. Crack says I had a plus 133 minus 2440 commit. Nice. Delete that fucking code. Get the hell out of here. It's good. It's good. I like it. I like it. Going to 11. I assume build on 11, run on eight. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, but we're also doing something with 15. Is that a thing? JDK 15. Yeah, we're also doing something with 15. I don't pay too close attention. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, we're also monkey patching log4j. Because apparently log4j is like super fucked up in the versions we're changing to. Or some shit. I don't know. It's a goddamn mess. I'm glad I don't work on that stuff. Even though it's still my team. <clears throat> Foster says my files are generally only up to 500 lines. Yeah, well. Go big or go home. Jenny Pie. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Yo, yeah, wait. Why did RKJ get bonked? That was a hot, sticky mess, and not in the fun kind. Of. Okay. <laughs> what are 11, 8, and 15? I don't fucking know. Java. Y Java, Java versions. J Java versions. Java versions. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. This should be the right assertion now. PyTest. Nope. Cool. The assertion looks less good now, but um, this file is 864 lines and about to get longer. Okay, so let's see. What do we need to do? We need to find. We need to traverse through this list. Actually, I think we need to traverse forwards until we find the minimal layer. This one here, which we've already done once. We already did that in the actual tagging thing. But the tagging thing dealt with Docker history. Here we're dealing with the Docker image config. And do, 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 do. Yeah, so we have to find this layer, and then we have to find env layers and then content layers after them. Okay, so let's start writing that. Languages equals a wiktionary languages for layer in what are you in config history case um, <laughs> If layer created by dot ends with this, we're writing a state machine. Found minimal equals false. Then found minimal equals true. Well, I found minimal and
Um, hmm. <laughs> and layer created by that starts with uh, this. Is there a tab here? God, I hope there's not a tab here. That would suck. Uh, 8 is the latest supported runtime for AWS services and the most base compilation target. 11 is the current LTS for Java. 17 in September is the next LTS release. The 15 added a ton of nice developer friendly features. Oh, that's probably why people want it. Now it says, let's say somebody offered you a job running JavaScript. What percentage pay raise would they have to give you to make you say yes? Uh, 10%, 15%, I don't know. I'd be fine writing JavaScript. Um, I already make a shit ton of money. <laughs> if I made slightly more shit ton of money but I had to write JavaScript, I don't think I'd be that mad. Unless it was like IE5 JavaScript, IE55 JavaScript. But I'm actually really good at that. So maybe it wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. I I don't really have a problem with JavaScript. Um, I don't write very much of it myself nowadays, but I used to write a lot of JavaScript. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, are you offering? <laughs> you can figure out my salary from the internet. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> Of course, uh, sorry about my bad writing. No, it's fine. I switched to my laptop. What I wanted to say is that BDD is about discussion with product owners to understand the behavior you want to implement. Yep, totally. In my opinion, you don't need to automate it with glue code if none of the product owners is interested to see the report. Yeah, that's also true. Actually, we use BDD to extract real examples of behaviors. Then we write them in the ticket, so we use them as acceptance criteria, but we don't use any glue code like Cucumber. I mean, you have to use some amount of glue code at some point. I th so. You can write behavior-driven tests without using a BDD framework. Um, and I think writing tests describing behaviors is extremely good. But when I see BDD, I think cucumber, gherkin, that fucking garbage. Um, I don't think you know writing a unit test describing a behavior, which I totally agree with. I think tests should describe behaviors and they should demonstrate that, that behavior works um in a way i think bdd is overloaded and perhaps ambiguous and maybe a bad name um yeah uh car says unit and integration tests are sufficient for use to prove the example without any bdd testing framework yeah i agree welcome back om how you doing uh, knowledge says, why not use richx? For which thing? For this? Uh, I mean, we might use some regex at some point. Uh, Pari, hello, hello, welcome back. Over 9,000! Reginald expressions, yes, exactly. Flex. I mean, not exactly flex. I've worked pretty hard to get where I'm at. Make so much money, yet the plushies have to be smooshed in their tiny powers. Listen, listen. They don't make bookshelves that are much larger than this. So they're just they're just gonna have to deal, you know? Python is basically JavaScript. Yeah, exactly. I'd be fine writing JavaScript. A brave, brave courageous man here. Give him a round of applause. Mm. Um shush the plushies like that. How did you know? I keep reading glucose instead of glucose. Mm. Price says, are you L7? Uh, no. I, I don't even remember what my alt level is. I'm the first staff level, whatever that is. Um, what is it? Levels.io? Nope. Um, what the fuck is the website? That is also a risky thing for me to type in. What the fuck is it called? Uh,. Well, it's not FYI, that's what it is. Oh, you can make a fuck ton of money at Walmart. Jesus. Is that base salary? 
fucking nutty. Wait, how much does Walmart make? Walmart Labs? Oh. Their principal is not that much. Fuck off. Distinguished. Is this total comp? This is like zero stock. It's actually not that much. Never mind. Fuck Walmart. <laughs> not that anyone will work there anyway. Oh, right. This song. We skipped this song because it's obnoxious. Next. Uh, yeah, I'm an L4. Um, levels up why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levels.w3schools.com. Oh, what did you say in Russian? And do we have to ban you? Please speak in English so that I can understand your text. Hi, sweetie. That's an interesting, <laughs> interesting decision of, of language there. Well, welcome to the stream, Namraz Narcotic. Hopefully you're doing well. The next stream, guys, now I work at Walmart. <laughs> so, in like the weirdest turn of events, Walmart employs more software engineers than anyone else in the US. Which is fucking wild. <laughs> uh, Marcia says, Anfunk is rich as motherfucking Jesus. I mean, uh, Prax says, I was just thinking about jumping ship with some of the nonsense I'm seeing at work. Is Stripe hiring? Stripe is hiring up the fucking wazoo. Stripe is trying to double their engineering team by the end of the year, which is just a fucking absurd amount of people hiring. Um, just an absurd number of people hiring. Um, like, they're trying to hire, I think, a thousand engineers by the end of the year, which is nutty. Fucking nuts. I'm not looking forward to interviewing six people a week. <laughs> uh, are you still so down to earth and cool and stuff? Don't stroke my ego too much. Uh, is holy shit, you're rich. I mean. Not exactly. I'm upper middle class. Uh, Updated version says, but you have to write Ruby. You don't necessarily have to write Ruby. There is a growing amount of Java. There's a decent chunk of Scala. I'm writing Python. Most of the glue code's Python. There's a brand new JavaScript team. A lot of JavaScript being written. Stripe is international? Yes. Uh, Amazon makes more money in a year than I'll make in 10 lifetimes. <laughs> I mean, that may not be true. May not be true. Uh, upper middle class equals freaking rich these days. One percenter? No, I'm not even in the one percent. I don't think. At least not until I get stock. Maybe when I have stock, I'll be in the one percent. People still write in C++? Yes. In fact, there's a C++ tool that's currently being written on my team. Uh, and <laughs> the funny thing is... Um, I think I'm the only person that actually understands C++ on our team. Well, that's not true. And he knows C++, but he hasn't written C++ in like a decade. But I was like the only person that could actually review it, so. <clears throat> um, serious, I don't know if I can get along with Juicebox anymore after talking about flying around the world, just doing this and that. I mean, it's like, travel is pretty accessible for um you know if if you have an income <laughs> it's not that expensive to travel even at like you know even at like seventy five thousand dollars a year um flying to like like flying to new york from san francisco is like 300 bucks 400 bucks getting a hotel for the week a thousand that's not that much money <laughs> compared to like seventy five thousand a year. Um, throwing a month's wages to go to the other side of the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like not a huge deal, but yeah, it's totally it's totally a thing. I don't I don't know. 
I don't travel nearly as much as Juicebox Hero does, but I also don't think that, like, the amount of travel that she does is excessive in any way, shape, or form. Um, but, yeah. Knowledge says you'd be in the 3% in the UK. Yeah. That's not 1%, at least. <laughs> Orlin the Maid says, come visit me in San Francisco. Funny thing, Orlin, I just moved out of the Bay Area. <laughs> But I will be back in the Bay Area at some point, so at least to visit. Um, I'm not going to move back, but um, yeah. Price says, do I get sub perks of using you as a referral at Stripe? I mean, you send me your resume, I will put it in the system. Um, so message me on Dick Sword, and we'll see what happens. Dale says, I mean, it's not like you get three months of PTO per year for travel anyway. Yeah, that's true. I, I actually don't get very much PTO. Um, I was actually, well, okay. So here's the thing about unlimited PTO at companies, which I didn't have at Yelp, I did have at Lyft, and I don't have at Stripe. Um, unlimited PTO is, in most cases, kind of a scam for two reasons. One, it is shown that people will take less PTO if they're given unlimited PTO, just because they... I mean, for for a number of reasons. One, they feel guilty about taking PTO. Um, two, work tends to st structure their deliverables around not taking PTO. And so if you take time off and then miss your deliverable, that's on you. PTO is paid time off. Time off, essentially. Um, and... I definitely felt this at Lyft. Oh, and that's, that's sorry, that's the first reason. The second reason it's a scam is when you leave the company, pay time off does not get paid out because there is no, there's no bank. Um, uh, and I, I definitely kind of, I mean, I very much felt this at Lyft. Like the first number of years that I worked at Lyft, I rarely took time off. And was that good for like mental health and stability and like maintainability? Absolutely fucking not. I should have taken more time off. I mean, I had the same problem at Yelp, too. I didn't take much time off. Uh, in fact, I took so little time off that I lost some of my PTO hours due to rollover, which is fucking bullshit. They should just pay those out. I don't know why they didn't. That makes no goddamn sense. Um, but towards the end of my, my time at Lyft, uh, especially during, like, pandemic time and, like, right before... Uh, the Like, right before the pandemic hit, I took like three weeks in a row off. <laughs> um, but I don't know, the other thing about unlimited PTO is if you get sick, you can just be like, yeah, fuck it, I'm sick today. Sue me. And like not go to work, which is great. But I know it's kind of hard to leverage that against what you need to deliver and stuff. So it's it's tough. Oh yeah, PTO vacation. Yeah, yeah. Same 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 deal. Um uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, Yeah, right, Orlin. Rip. Uh, Dave Bridge says, I think you're fairly biased comp wise with the industry you work in. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh yeah, I guess that's fair. You know, salary salary bands are a little bit different for software engineers. Like, yeah. I mean, I talked about this on the Discord a little bit. Like, generally, the floor is a hundred thousand, and you know, you will get less than that outside of highly populated areas in the U.S. and internationally. But like, yeah. Uh, Dino says, "Did you know that California's regulation on PTO is the primary reason for unlimited PTO?" Wait, tell me more. I don't know what that means. Atrium DAA says, once I got unlimited PTO, but never really got approved for any of the days I requested. Oh, that sucks. That's fucked. What do you mean not paid off? So when I left Yelp, I had 120 some odd hours of PTO stacked up that was banked essentially. And when you leave a company, uh, in many places, they are required to pay you for all of those hours of PTO that you never used. Um, the idea being that if you quit and then took the rest of the 
banked time off, you would get paid for that. And um, I mean, it, when I left Yelp, I got like twelve grand or something from all of my like PTO. Um, after tax, before taxes, I don't fucking remember. It was so long ago. Um, but yeah, usually usually PTO is paid out when you. Leave. Um. The neuter says that's such an American thing. It's illegal to do that in the UK. Hmm. I have not played Pokemon Unite or the Mage. It doesn't seem like a type of game that I would get into. It's like, isn't it like Dota with Pokemon? Like, uh, I don't. I mean, I never got into Dota. Like, massive. What is it? MOBA? What does the B stand for? What does MOBA stand for? What does MOBA stand for? Multiplayer online battle arena. Yeah. I don't really have interest in that type of play. Um, but, yeah. He also says, since California. Oh, yeah, you read that. Wait. Uh, that doesn't allow companies to have a use it slash lose it rule and required pay out of all accrued PTO. Oh, so that's a California thing. Mm hmm. Little did he know the three weeks straight of PTO was the reason he was made redundant. No, I wasn't made redundant. There was a fucking layoff. <laughs> yeah, 27 days of holiday in the UK is fucking lit. The US, like, tops out at, like, 20, which is kind of shit. But, yeah. Anyway, okay, let's implement this function. Okay, so... Found minimal and it starts with. Okay, we have found minimal and we have found an env layer. Upstairs has been really noisy today. I think they're doing like construction or modeling or remodeling or something. Been making a lot of noise. Maybe that means the fucking asshole with his vibrating phone on the floor. And the, well, I don't know if it's a dude or not. <laughs> Their vibrating phone on the floor. That means they're gone. They died. Uh, yeah, Europe has like... I mean, the meme in the US is like, huh, you're a PM. Oh, you must be on holiday. <laughs> like, all the fucking time. Um, it might not be a phone... Why would it be on the floor? I guess you could like suction cup your vibe to the floor and just like have a time. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it could be that. Although if their room is set up like mine, the bedrooms are carpeted. So I don't know why, maybe I guess you could fuck your vibe in, a, in the living room if you really wanted to bathroom I and mean, fuck it do whatever you want i'm not gonna shame except when it wakes me up at like <laughs> six the goddamn morning <sighs> Pino says my company paid out 40 hours of pto max so i spent my last week on pto while i started my new company because i had 90 hours oh nice nice that's awesome rkj says i get 35 and carry 10 over each year that's Pretty good. Pretty good. There's a new trend to only work four days a week. Uh, oh yeah, four day work weeks are fucking lit. The Stitches says, if you get paid so well, why do you rent? Uh, so the answer to that is, I did not want to purchase a place in California because I knew I did not want to stay there. Um, but now that I've moved to Michigan, I will likely be looking for a place to purchase. But that is the answer because I didn't I didn't want to be in California. <laughs> Why would I buy a house in a place that I don't want to live in? Um, but yeah. The other regulation that California has, they can't remove hours from your accrued PTO. They can only stop the accrual of further PTO once you hit a cap. Oh. Well, yeah. I never had them remove PTO, but I, I definitely did have loss from cap. If only they would have like made it a thing such that, you know, when when you accrue when you lose at a cap, it would pay out. That would be that would be fucking perfect. 
Yetibot says, ever created a container for an app using Flask Migrate? I have not, but welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Adidas version says, God, what the hell is this stream sometimes? <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. True. Tasty shrimp. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Iran has 53 days off per year. All right, boys, let's move to Iran. <laughs> Fuck. How can you know like California? It's expensive. It never fucking rains. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's not just that. Uh, I feel like it's kind of far away from everything. I like driving cars. I know it's wrong, but I like driving cars. Um, fire season. Uh, there's no seasons. It never rains. I already said that, but there's no seasons specifically. I like snow. Once in a while. Um. Yeah, mostly those things. Uh, perhaps no snow. Yeah, that's that's one of the things the stitches. Hundred percent. Um. The market here is fucking crazy. Yeah, right, Briox. Uh, crazy things I learned about reading my previous company's HR documents and seeing all of the except California exceptions. Nice, nice, nice. Literally every single HR policy has that section. Yeah, there's also some stuff for Colorado as well, which has recruiting limitations or something like that. I don't know. I'll tap back to stream. I like driving cars. I mean, yeah, I, I couldn't rationalize purchasing and having a car in California because I know it sounds bad, but like the public transit was was just good enough that I couldn't rationalize having a car and parking and other stuff was just bad enough that I couldn't rationalize having a car. Um, I, I, yeah. Anyway, Neuter says 35 days contractually at Facebook London. Nice, nice, nice. Bryce says there's no C since X10. Yeah, exactly. Kmerk says I cap out on 420 hours a year. Holy shit. <laughs> Warnaki says it never rains. Sign me up. No snow. Sign me up. Expensive. Don't sign me up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Colorado recruiting changes now because Colorado mandate, mandates salary ranges for job postings targeting people in Colorado. That's also true in California. So, I mean, it's becoming much more popular. Uh, Eighth Wall says, thanks, Clue, with an image. What is your image? What? Unknown error from Python. Error traceback is not available. <laughs> It's basically like, fuck you, good luck. <laughs> uh, React says, it never rains. Arrives in Michigan in time for the strongest tornado season we've had in a hot second. Oh my god, I have been loving, loving the thunderstorms. Oh, fucking great. The neuter says, what's Stripe like, by the way? How do you feel about the single year stock grants? They are a fucking scam. Um. Yeah, they're a fucking scam. I didn't understand what I was getting into when I signed. Uh, and I've been very vocal about how bullshit they are. Because um, it essentially means, like... I mean, I, I read some numbers. If, you're, if you assume your company grows by 50% year over year, which is fairly reasonable for somebody in a, you know, a high growth period startup, you are losing out on 60 to 70% of your total take home income by having per year stock grants. Um, I guess I should clarify the, 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 the traditional way that RSUs are granted is when you sign, you are given an account of RSUs and that counts vests over a four year period. Um, that's what I consider traditional vesting. And then there's per year vesting and per year vesting you are granted a dollar amount per year. And every year, they, as you vest, they divide the dollar amount you're supposed to receive by the stock price at the beginning of that period. Um, so after the first year, you're even. After the second year, you are significantly lower. And after the third and fourth year, you are way, way lower. Um, 
but yeah, it's fucking bullshit. And I, I didn't realize that it was set up that way um, until after I had signed. So I'm very unhappy about that. Uh, try to on glue functions and step function state machine, but the glue jobs don't love communicating anything except success or fail. <laughs> yeah, eighth wall, this is this is kind of my experience with any AWS service that's not like EC2 or S3. You kind of expect everything to be good. Gamer says, yeah, but all the freeways are flooding here in Michigan. Which freeways are flooding? Because the other ones around me are flooded. I've been chilling in Ann Arbor. Um, Broccoli Arm says, so you lose the upside because the shares are denominated in dollars. Yes. Essentially, it does not motivate you to be excited about your company's growth, which is a fucked up thing to say. <laughs> like, like recently, Stripe was like, oh, yeah, we doubled our valuation. I don't give a shit. It doesn't help me. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. But it makes 100% sense from the company's perspective because it means they pay their employees less. And that's all they really give a shit about. So, you know, it looks great on, on any of the execs line sheets because, you know, they pay out less. But it's kind of bullshit otherwise. Uh, what is your opinion on defined benefit pension plans? I know nothing about pension plans. Um, I was once talking to a girl that I was hitting on, and she tried to explain it to me, and I just had no fucking idea what she was talking about. Um, yeah, so I don't know anything about pension. Sorry. None of your highways are flooded. Talks. <laughs> I mean, you know I'm in Ann Arbor, Michigan, so... I don't really think that narrows it down all that much more. Uh, a lot of your Stripe thoughts seem to be, I wouldn't have signed if I knew X, Y, Z. Yeah. You're cheering for mediocrity. Yeah. Uh, Aethel says, don't even get me started on how bad Boto3 is. I feel like Boto3 is fairly reasonable. I find that its docs are better than the AWS docs. But, I don't know. I'm surprised. I would have thought the Collisons would have treated their employees better based on watching them being interviewed, but then again, they seem very media trained. Oh, yeah, they totally are. Um, but this policy is new at Stripe. It was new about a month before I joined. So, like, real bad timing on my part. Sleepbun says, you put nothing in, but it's essentially worthless if you don't make it close to retirement. Oh, so it like forces you to stay at a company for an extremely long time? That sucks. <laughs> that would never fly in software. Um, but that makes sense. I guess the, the person I was talking about was in healthcare. So um, there it's not expected that you job hunt or job hop as much, I guess. For downtown Detroit? No. I mean, it's certainly possible. I have not been downtown. I do plan to go downtown to hang out with my friends. They ever message me back? No. They didn't even leave me on red. I'm on red. <laughs> Since two days ago. Oh, well, it's fine. I don't blame them. Uh, I guess I get mad at it because it only dynamically creates a client at runtime based on the string you pass in. Kills any semblance of ID compatibility. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, MyPy has this same problem where, like, if you add, if you add the type stubs for Bodo, it does like literal the um what's the word literal deduction and it adds like 20 seconds to any mypy run which sucks uh amazon does that though with their best yeah amazon does it too as well cuz amazon really likes to uh exploit their workers <laughs> Uh, they probably would have meshed back in the day with software, but not in the current software world. Yeah, the current software world is like, you stay at a place for like max two years is a good baseline. The CDK docs are amazing. Yeah, I don't like the CDK. Okay, let's actually implement this. Okay, so we found this uh, layer. We can make this the empty string because we expect it to always... And layer equals um wait a minute 
If we're going forward, we need to know how many of these layers we need to go. Hmm. Well, we can count the non-empty layers. Yeah, so we need layer IDX. And let's see if oh, we gotta put that at the end. If layer and uh, layer dot get empty layer false not not empty layer. So if it is a full layer, then layer idx plus equal to one. Okay, so we're gonna get to the end. I think we're fine. Yeah, should be fine. Uh, it doesn't know that Beta 3 library contains the entire knowledge base in doc string. Well, it's not even a doc string. Well, yeah, yeah, the doc strings are fucking nuts. Uh, but also, there's like 100 megabytes of JSON. That's just how they uh, generate that stuff. Well, it says Amazon pays software engineer grads 80K in my city. But you know they're going to work their ass out for that 80k. It's so low. <laughs> and fucking Amazon. Uh, this digit says, I couldn't imagine changing jobs every two years. I'm just barely getting good at my new job five months in. Oh, I mean, in a year and a half, you should, you should start searching for a new job. Wait, are you pure engineering or are you software engineering? Because that changes things. Um... Mechanical. Okay. Well, then it's different. I don't know anything about mechanical. I don't know anything about the compensation structure for mechanical. Uh, TC. Yeah, TC's total compensation. Did somebody say TC? I'm not going to tell you my TC, but you can look it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, the websites. The websites are fairly accurate. I will say that. Um, okay, so somebody said regular expressions. Um, that was knowledge, right? Somebody said regular, regular expressions, original expressions. We are going to have to do some regexes here because we are looking for. Hello? We're looking for this bit here. Uh... Um, lang r equals r dot compile. Uh, echo lang. Uh, do languages have underscores in them? I like how I'm reading my own docs to answer this question. Yeah, they do. They are snick case. A to Z underscore plus. And we're going to capture this. Oh. No. Oh man. I'm sad chat because the best way to write this is The best way to write this is unfortunately a walrus, but fuck walrus. We don't walrus on this stream. We'll take the little bit of overhead. All my homies hate walrus. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 
it's already more readable. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I hate living in the UK. An E3 makes more than me in the US, and I'm not even in the top range of E4. Oh, is that uh, Amazon's leveling? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, international salaries are not very normalized yet. You know, says my old team. Oh my god. Whoa. Hold on. Before we read DL's messages, we got a massive raid from the Milkman himself. Kapow! Welcome to the stream, Melky and Raiders. How you all doing today on this, this fine Monday? How's your algorithm grind going, Melky? Are you seeing those sliding windows? Do you do you dream of a star? <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of pows in the chat. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. For those of you that don't know, um, our, over, our viewers overlap a decent amount, but for those of you that don't know, my name is Anthony. I primarily work on Python stuff and specifically open source. And if I sound like I'm a little bit slurry today, I got an empty bottle of wine, so <laughs> have an excuse. Um, but I work on a lot of open source software that you might have heard of, uh, such as Flake8, PyTest, Talks, Precommit, PyFlakes, PyCodeStyle, Dead Snakes, All Repos, Reorder Python Imports, uh, and a bunch of other shit. But I work on a lot of open source. Today we are working on Precommit CI, which is a CI system, my little startup-y idea thing. Um, we are pulling apart a Docker image to try and make it go zoom zoom without being sad and slow, but also supporting a bunch of new programming languages. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid, Milky. Did somebody give you a shout out? Let me give you a shout out. I can't believe I forgot. Welcome, welcome. And let me say hi to everyone who's here and then we'll resume back from what I was reading before. Indecision tree, pizza in the oven, fly boy, cyber cyclonic, welcome, welcome. Creative no, it's good to see you again. Uh, Unaluz, one, one light, one light, I like that. Welcome, welcome. I guess it would be pronounced loose. Unaluz. Uh, and Melky, of course, it's good to see you. Bang drop, no. You don't do the drop in my channel. That shit's fucking cringe. Oh, fuck. I was gonna say sorry to the guy that made the drop, because he's actually really cool. But... I feel like drop was cool, you know, six months ago. Now it's kind of cringe. Monsif, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Right, Joycon. Hello, hello. Uh, all right, that's everyone. We're caught up. Welcome, Raiders. Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Uh, my old team never transitioned to CDK because we wanted to move everything to Terraform instead. Then I left the company and haven't had to do anything infrared since February. <laughs> nice, nice. All my homies hate walrus. Yeah, fuck walrus. Fuck the walrus expression. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Then we got the raid, the massive raid. But what were you working on today? Were you just working on algorithms, Melky? Were you were you grinding that leak code? Are you getting that jorb? How's how's it how's it going? Uh, bang joke. Microsoft held a bi one bi monthly internal productive week where they use Google instead of Bing. <laughs> the shade, lawless pantsu shot. Bit of a risque name. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Marsha, Marsha with the bonk. That seems pretty fair to me. What is bonk for? Oh, Jenny Pie. <laughs> so there's um. I'm gonna search this off screen because there's there's a good chance that this is not going to be safe Google image search results. Yeah, oh shit, yeah. I am very glad that I did not do this on stream because there were some titties and that would have not gone well with the Twitch terms of service. Uh, God damn it. I just want to view this image. Is it so hard? Uh, here we go. 
So there's this there's this may may about two doges that are uh, bonking each other to go to horny jail, and that's that's what bonk's about. And we've got a bonk command and a bonk emote specifically for horny jail. Um, but yeah. Willem says, this music sounds like the PS4 main menu music with a sick beat. Well, here it is in the playlist. But yeah, that's that's what Bonk is for. It's for horny people. Yeah, 100%. It's for horny people. <laughs> Cyber Cyclonic says, your Google search results are based on what you search for. It's not specifically true. It is, it is um, you know, conditioned for your, for individual personalization. But it does not necessarily mean that I search for titties on Google, because, like, who searches for titties on Google? <laughs> um, <laughs> Jenny Pye says, this is me right now, and I can see from the name of the image. That's my secret, I'm always horny. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, when did you search for titties? I need to know. I just searched bunk, go to horny jail, and there were... I feel like that's not always the best uh if you're looking for titties searching bonk go to horny jail is probably not your best <laughs> best approach okay um but we have found our language match this is the part where we have to do the actual complicated um logics the nurse says have you tried the kinesis advantage too i have the problem is I use these bad boys a lot, ye old, um, ye old arrow keys over here, and the advantage does not have arrow keys, so I like how fucked up the white balance on my camera is. It's like <laughs> I'm off white, so now it recalibrates it to be yellowish. Um, my hands are fairly white though. And wonder if I do this, but anyway. You search for League of Legends Rule 34. Wait, is I was gonna say, is that a thing? But then I remember what Rule 34 is. Uh, but no, I have not tried. Well, I have tried the Advantage too, but I was fucking garbage at it. Um, this keyboard is like just out there enough that I can still use it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Jenny Price says, wait. So Marsha is just the default bonk. Um, for obvious reasons, Ginny Pie. For obvious reasons. I think it's type 5 bonk. Um, yeah, there you go. Now, Marsha has been bonked. Wait, I'm. Oh, wait, wait. Marsha has two categories. Marsha has been bonked 305 times. And I've been bonked 205 times. So I'm I'm getting up there. I'm getting up there. There's 70k results for League loots and 4k for Dota 2 loots. For science, yeah. 100% yeah, for science. Oh, uh, I need to fill my water. Oh, so Ginny Pie, uh, Marsha and Michaela are the same person, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go fill my water. I will be right back. I will see you in a bit.
Alright, I'm back. I also got grape tomatoes. I fucking love grape tomatoes. So we're gonna eat some of those because I'm hungry. Oh, show water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Not cheating on the water. Oh, we don't get the chewing ASMR. <laughs> I know how much people hate that. <laughs> What's this origin origin story of Bongo? It's from Bongo Cat, which I absolutely love. Is it Bongo.cat? It is. Meow! Look at how adorable this fucking thing is. But now we have carpet being a Bongo Cat. A day version says, what kind of wine did you have? A Baval Shiraz blend. Uh, 80-20 on the blend. 12.5% alcohol by volume, which is fairly standard for wine. But yeah. Yo, cherry tomatoes are also great, Ginny Pine. Are they just moving so we can see the plushies? No. What? Uh, Ezekiel, hello, hello, welcome back. Ikmi, good to see you as well. How are you doing? How are you, how are you both doing? Why is this adult grape juice? Yeah, 100%. Yo, sparkling grape juice, though? That shit's fucking lit. That shit's so good. So good. Andy Rice dot cat? Mmm. Mmm. is doing fine. How about you? I'm doing all right. So Monday. All right. We have found our language layer. We need to parse the env layer. We can parse the env layer and start. And we need to end it in this language as Wiktionary. What is the type we made? Image language. Image language. Whoops. Oh god, what have I done? Lang equals lang match one. Okay, we got one of the parts done. Layer equals config root fs diff IDs. I hope that's consistent. The Coder Store. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What do you buy at the Coder Store? Coders? I didn't even says, not sure what your tastes are, but Stella Rosa has a mango tinted wine that is 9 out of 10. <laughs> Stella Rosa Let's celebrate This is makeup. <laughs> is it wine? Uh wine. I've already said I'm old enough. Holy fucking shit. Oh, they're not in the shame. Uh, is it a rosé? Because I fucking love rosés. Oh my god. Or is it just like individual? That looks amazing. That looks amazing. These all look amazing. Oh my god. I want all of these. Which one is it? Link it to me because... I'm guessing it's one of these down here. Mango. Here we go. Clear though. 
Is it this one? Oh yeah, it is that one. I'll have to check it out. I'll leave myself a link. Oh my god, it asked me if I'm 21 again <laughs> in the other browser. <clears throat> Coding t-shirts, says the Coder Star. Oh, do you do merch? Because I've been looking for, I'm, I'm trying to set up merch for my channel. I've been pretty lazy, to be honest. Stings, how's it going? Welcome back. Have you ever tried meat? Yes. There's a teeny tiny bar in Lapeer, Michigan, which is where my mom lives. What is it called? Sure, we'll use Yelp. Fuck it, why not? Wood chips. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. This place has mead. I think. Is there a place? That just says fucking Bud Light right there. Is it not this? This must be their upstairs that I've literally never been to. No, it's not this place. No. Wait. This looks kind of familiar. No, I don't think this is it. I don't want food pictures. This is like literally the one time I don't want food pictures. Okay, I don't think that's it. Um, it's M24. It's like... My mom doesn't live by it anymore now that I think about it. Okay, so coming from 69. <laughs> nice. Uh, we go up up here through this part. And then... What is... Okay, so then Michigan Street. So it's like right over here. Somewhere in here-ish. Uh... I don't... Might be wood chips. <laughs> Fuck, is it vinyl? Twelve photos, and they're probably not gonna have. Uh, it must be wood chips. It must be wood chips. So I don't think it's this place. Anyway, they have mead, and it's good. Um, just melt on the makeup and consume. Yeah. Hey, what's up, El Crabo G? Hello, hello. Uh, the Cutter Store says I like sweat wine. Interesting. You can get some. You can get ten of these for the price of some bottles. Yeah, it's true. Uh, are you twenty one? Yeah, I'm very much way way more than twenty one. Oh. I found this D and D tavern in Fond du Lac. And I got excited, but apparently it's just some stupid bar with football and Packers cards. Eh. Are we looking at Michigan bars? We are Spartan Gator, kind of. Uh, I miss living in Ann Arbor. They had legit spots there. Oh my god. I fucking love Ashley's. Ashley's is like one of my favorite bars on the planet. Um, they have like great variety, and cool atmosphere. Granted, I haven't been there in eight years. I should go there again. Maybe I'll go there this week. Okay, G says, Anthony, what to do when you have to study? You try, but you just don't feel like it. I am this is the day since I asked you about troubles about studying it. I feel sad and guilty. Hmm. So. <sighs> the only time I've ever studied to like study. was to hang out with grills. <laughs> I've never needed to study, um, partially because I have really good memory. Um, but yeah. 
Lag Spike says, hello, what are we doing here? Are you a data engineer? No, I'm not a data. Well, <laughs> I work on infrastructure for data teams, but I'm not a data en engineer. We are mucking around with Docker images. I am trying to pull individual layers of a Docker image to add languages for a CI system. If, those, if none of those words make sense, it's fine. Don't worry. Just hang out for the vibe. That's what we're, that's what we're really here for. But yeah, I'm back at Michigan Stakes. It's true. It's true. No one cares about the box until we're in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Meat is good. Pink meat is bad. Says Jack at Bank Hess. Welcome back. PJZ. Hello, hello. Miss Jalary. How are you doing? Welcome back. Uh, as a beer snob, also a big Ashley's fan, plus Trivia Night. I never went for Trivia Night. Um, but maybe I should check that out. Uh, Zingerman's Red House? Yeah, Zingerman's legit. For sure. English while crying is horrible. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll cry with G. Talk about nacho fries are back? Those are actually really fucking good. <laughs> I also unironically love Taco Bell. Um, but yeah, anything that has potatoes on their menu is just amazing. Uh, Have you ever looked at Nick's space doc images? Oh, man. I'm not going to give you my Nick's rant today, but... I feel like Nick's is a solution looking for a problem. And not, um... Actually all that useful. <sighs> but... We should never get rid of nacho fries. I don't know why, but they're just too delicious on my end. They're so good. So good. Oh my goodness. We've got another verified in the chat. Lewis, welcome to the stream. Uh, any particular reason as to why you're using a keyboard like that? So th the full story of this is this keyboard was a sponsored gift to me from Kinesis, the company that manufactures such a keyboard. Um, it is meant to be an ergonomic keyboard, the idea being that your hands are approximately shoulder length and lay down nicely on the keyboard and so it maintains a nice posture and takes wrist strain off and I don't know, generally is nice like that. I don't really have ergonomic problems, but I do use it on stream because it's cool. I also have this keyboard, which is a code B387, which I really like. Don't those keys sound nice? Oh, they're so good. Um, really love that keyboard. Uh, so much that I have two of them, but yeah, that's, I guess, why I've, I've got the keyboard. These are reds. Those are clears. Um, I'm sad about reds, to be honest. <laughs> I wish I would have had browns. Um, but I didn't, I didn't think when they were like, I thought they were going to ask me what type of switches I wanted, but they were just like, here you go. Here's reds. But... Uh, clears are heavy browns, which, like, I really like. Browns are horrible. I mean, it was reds, browns, or blues, and blues sound like a fucking machine gun. I don't want that. <laughs> um... Welcome to the stream, Virtual Paracosm. Hello, hello. What's the blue thing? Uh, you can even do bang blue thing. Uh, it's a fidget toy thing. Lewis says, what are you currently working on? Are you a programming streamer, Lewis? If so, I will check out your channel. Um, oh, yeah, science and tech. Fucking let's follow. Um, so what am I working on right now? I... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna need a big zoom out for this first off. So I have created, I work on a lot of open source Python software. Um, some that you might've heard, uh, Flake 8, PyTest, Tox, Precommit, Flake 8, or Flake 8, I said Flake 8, PyFlakes, PyCode Style, Dead Snakes, etc. One of the things that I work on is this thing I created called Precommit. The idea is it is a uh, multi-language linter code formatter runner that also knows things about git hooks the idea being you set up a config file with versions and tools and stuff 
and they can you know integrate with GitHooks, but the big selling point is it installs all those tools in user space without you having to fiddle with installing a whole bunch of shit, and then it runs them against files in your repository. So that's what pre-commit is. Um, and when I got laid off from Lyft last year, I decided I wanted to make this CI system based around pre-commit, and so I did, and it exists, and we are improving it on stream today, but the idea behind the CI system is it's basically everything you would get with the developer tool pre-commit, but it runs it on your pull requests and can, you know, auto-fix them, it can go super fast, and it can bump those versions periodically in your config file. Uh, so that's pre-commit CI, and what we're working on today is I'm trying to add more language support to pre-commit CI, and it is based on a Docker image. And if I added every programming language that pre-commit supports right now, the Docker image would be 10 gigabytes, which is going to take a long time to pull and therefore impact all of the auto-scaling performance and stuff. And so, um, you know, having a 10 gigabyte Docker image doesn't really scale. So what I'm doing instead is I'm making a minimal image that's going to satisfy probably like 95 or 99 percent of runs and then add every additional language on top of that and um, pull them in separately. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right after I did the big explain, we've got a raid from Leslie Daniel. Thank you for the raid. Welcome to the stream raiders. What were you working on today, Leslie? Um, and welcome, welcome. I guess we'll do another intro because we've got new people here. Uh, my name is Anthony. I Sorry for everyone who's already here. We're going to get the repeat. Uh, I work on a lot of Python stuff, mostly open source for the most part. Uh, I maintain a lot of somewhat important tools that if you work in Python, you might know about, such as PyTest, Talks, Flank8, Precommit, Dead Snakes, etc. Uh, I really like linters, code formatters, productivity tools, testing tools, that sort of stuff. And so that's a lot of things that I focus on. Um, today we are working on um, a CI system for one of those tools. The CI system is based around this linter code formatter tool I wrote called Precommit. And we are working on the CI system for that today. And we are doing some crazy shenanigans with Docker images, basically pulling apart the individual layers of a Docker image and then stitching them back together. Um, and so we're writing a bit of code right now, which is parsing the Docker history to get enough metadata such that we can do that operation. Uh, but welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully your stream went great. And um, welcome, welcome to the stream, everyone. And this is a name that I'm not familiar with, so we're going to go follow them. And hopefully their content is great. Uh, science and tech, perfect. Follow. <clears throat> uh, Spring Gator says, I wish more people used Black instead of using linters like Flake 8. Well, you kind of still want Flake 8 even if you're using Black, because Black is really only there to modify your white space. And it's not really going to help you with your correctness portions like you get from uh, PyFlakes and such. Louis says, recently started working on a Twitch chat bot on stream. Oh, nice. I also wrote my bot on stream. And you can see the code and inspiration for that here. Um, and this is this is my chatbot. It all, um, yeah, it goes well. It uh, it works kind of. <laughs> oh, actually, really cool thing about my chatbot. We haven't shown this demo in a while. Let's do it. Uh, confused yo yo yo. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What is the term terminology? Yeah. Oh, it's already, wow, it remembered, this is the first time it has remembered my settings from before. Um, if we close out of this and do this, uh, chat, spam some emotes for me. Oh, it's not going to work for animated emotes. Oh, shit, maybe we should make it work for animated emotes. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. Hmm. Let's see if terminology supports animated emotes. Lag spiked. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Danny Person says, I, I missed that. What do you work on again? 
<laughs> Welcome to the stream, Wesley the Bacon. Hello, hello. This is Baller Gamer Action. <laughs> Something like that. Opti21. Hello, hello. Wesley says, it went well, thanks. My content is not great. Sorry, a very beginner. No, it's fine. Um, all levels are all levels are fine. MMLVX says, Greek content complete with a pet pi Whoa, wait. Leslie, you have a pet python? What? Uh, just heard about you recently as a good resource. Happy to see. Yeah. Um, who sent you along? Just because I'm curious. <laughs> but yeah, I we have a we have a fairly, you know, a fairly good community for learning. Uh, on the Discord, there's a nice beginners channel if you want to ask questions. There's a bunch of people that can answer stuff, and it's not just for beginners. Sometimes people ask very advanced questions there too. Uh, but there's a lot of smart people that can help you out, and um, yeah, be generally a, a good good place to hang out. But yeah, look at all these look at all these emotes. What is that one? Oh, it's Primogen's emote. That one's fucking creepy. Uh, black crap's out if you have messed up indents. Yep, yep. All right, we gotta make we gotta make animated emotes. Hopefully, it work. Oh, it's a plushy python. Oh well. We are a, a, a plushy, plushy laden stream, so you're right at home. Um, oh yeah, it also does badges too. So you get you get nice badges. It also says beer and pack picking up nacho fries. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. I don't remember who recommended one of like five other streamers. Oh, nice, nice. The animated emotes are just GIFs, but the URL to fetch them is different. Yeah, I figured as much. And they don't work on mobile, yeah. So we're going to make our thing work first before... Um... Oh, right. <laughs> what a stupid name for a terminal emulator. Like, they made it completely ungoogleable. I think I have to literally Google... Sorkin's some yikes here. <laughs> terminal emulator. Here we go. Animated. Okay. So in theory, we should be able to just stick a GIF in there. Does anyone know the GIF URL offhand? Oh my God, we got another raid. Another raid. Mutra says, hi, I gotta go. Well, thank you for stopping by and thank you for the raid. Let me give you a shout out so my viewers can check you out. Welcome to the stream. Were you playing games today? I feel like you usually have more viewers than that. <laughs> well, that was... I didn't mean to throw shade. Wow, that just kind of spilled out of my mouth there. Um, another introduction. <laughs> it depends if she was playing games or not. Um, yeah, my name is Anthony. Quicker introduction this time. I work on open source stuff. Python, PyTest, Talks, Flake 8. PyTest. I already said that. Pre-commit. <laughs> I do a lot of Python stuff. We are about to try and make my chatbot support animated emotes because that sounds way better than what I was doing before. <laughs> uh, okay, does anyone know? No? Animated emote gif URL Twitch. I guess I could just right click in the, in this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Copy image address. Uh, there must be some API. Um, oops. How does this work? <laughs> I don't remember how it works. <laughs> Download all emotes, parse emotes. It's probably in this file. Okay, so we have to hit this URL. What does this URL give us? AWC Bongo. Um. Oh, it's probably the emote ID. Uh, we're gonna put it in a verbose mode. All right, can somebody send a carpet in the chat for me real quick? 
Uh, <laughs> Winslow says I tried to get up with the next stream and read you too. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Side jump throwing shade. Mm. Did it take you long to get used to that keyboard? I got this out of the box and I was immediately able to use it. Um, I was able. I was immediately able to get ninety-seven words per minute. My normal. My normal per minute is about hundred fifteen. So. Okay. So that's that. That's two point zero. Oh, bigger. What did, what was it? Oh, so I just have to change this to V2? Okay, so that's how we get this. All right, can somebody send a not animated emote? Did type racer go up in points? No, I think it's still 10K. It was always 10K. We're not gonna use the prime one. We can use the, the oh, your emotes, perfect. Um, Where's the... Uh, da, da, da. can I use the V2 endpoint to get, I was going, I was like, oh, I was about to be real sad. Oh, sick. So we can just use the V2 endpoint. That's not so bad. Uh, oh, we might as well download them at 2x, right? Um... Uh, I don't really want to delete my emote cache because there's some good emotes in here that no longer exist. Some like rare emotes. <laughs> I'm, I don't. Maybe I'm the only one that finds that funny, but it's like the the YouTube meme with like rare TikToks or rare 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 vines or whatever. Um, this does not does not rip. Oh well. Let's go through all the emotes. There's too many here. Uh, we can scroll through some of them. But there's there's a fuck ton of emotes here. Um, yeah, a lot of emotes. Rigged scam, perfect. Actually, there's not that many. I thought there were more. Anyway. Yeah, but like we'll never get Python with a reindeer again. It's just never gonna happen. Where's carpet with the uh Carpet with the Santa hat? Yeah, we're just we're just not gonna see carpet with the Santa hat, which is which is a bummer. These are just an ass here. <laughs> anyway. Um Yeah, we're just gonna move emote cache to old. And we're going to restart without verbose. And then in theory, we should have animated emotes. All right, spam some emotes again. This says, how long have you been programming for? Uh, 19 years. Oh no. Why didn't this work? Why aren't any of these working? Oh, fuck. Abort. <laughs> Why didn't this work? Hello? Why do some of them work? Did I copy the URL wrong? Oh, 
Oh, right. Yeah, I did. I did indeed. Uh, 2.0. And those ones that did work must have been from before. Let's try to restart in that now. It's JCT! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing fine. Oh, we gotta delete. Uh, try it again. Try it again, Apti21. Hey, we got animated emotes in the terminal. Fuck yeah. Look. Nice. Noise. I feel like this looks like kind of weird until you zoom in and then it's like kind of fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, why didn't the... Oh, right, because the bot doesn't know about its own emotes. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, pretty cool. That was not, that was not too bad. I thought it was going to be more work than that. Uh, game command dash m add support for animated emotes. Yeah, it took us like what five minutes to do this. Twitch, why the fuck doesn't your mobile app work yet? <laughs> yeet straight to master. Oh, cannot yeet straight to master. Now we yeet straight to master. There we go. Easy clap, right? It's JT, J, JCT. Hello, hello. Uh, Marcia says, now we can get naked. Wait, what? <laughs> Twitch probably got to write their gherkin for it first. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, probably. Probably. Kendra K, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. All right, we're going to go back to the, the normal bot now. Bye. Um, it doesn't work in this terminal emulator because it doesn't support images, but maybe the next version of GNOME Terminal will have better Sixel support and then we can do Sixels, um, perhaps. I had BTTV and FFZ. It's not that easy, Opti21, because BTTV and FFC, you basically have to parse the output, whereas with Twitch emotes, they tell you where the emotes live. So it's it's not so simple. Um, and I don't really have interest in parsing. That's also why I haven't implemented, for example, bits. Because the bits, they don't tell you where they are. You have to parse them. Lewis, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Hopefully your day's going well. Um, it's JCT says, new here, just started learning Python and Linux. So I'm here to soak it all in. Sounds good. Well, if you want some additional content, I have a good playlist of educational videos that you can check out. Oh, we've redeemed a type racer. Okay, we're going to do a type racer. Do you want hard mode or normal mode? Updated version. Um, but I have a list of YouTube videos that are educational on Linux, Python, typing, etc. Um, that you might find useful. So check those out. Uh, normal, please. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to do a type racer then. For those of you that don't know, I will post a link in chat and you can join and we can race and see how fast we go. Uh, normal mode is not instant death mode, which we haven't actually done in a while. So I will paste the link. Make sure to click join. If you don't click join, it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, we will got to go fast. And Marsha will destroy all of us, as is usual. Why is it not letting me click on the box? Oh no. I have concern. I have concern. All right, good luck. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I really am inebriated. 84, that was awful. That was abysmal. We're gonna do another one. <clears throat> Marsha, was that you at 124? Oh, you made an account! You made an account! Nice, nice, nice. Best race is 141. Oh, you've only done four. 
What did I just type? Yeah. Oh, this is from Halo 2. Huh. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't like the words in that one. That's what that's what I'm gonna blame it on. Not that I'm inebriated and <laughs> and uh oh fuck it's a long one. Oh no. I tried some instant death ones after I think before and I just kept failing. Yeah, well I did a hundred oh was that <laughs> dragon heart hundred words per minute i feel like that's pretty good that was not great though the fuck was that anyway thank you did version for redeeming the type racer oh that was like not very good for me <laughs> um okay let's finish the thing that i was working on um what was I doing? We got the layer. <laughs> Image language. We need to get oh the F mapping. F equal parse M. Inv layer lin m star colon and then we gotta implement this parse m function. Oh, we should also pass the language in. Language one. This returns dick stir stir. We should still have a failing test. Re is not defined. EQR. Yeah, there we go. Nacho fries acquired. Oh, I'm so fucking jelly. Oh man, nacho fries sound good. Hmm. Well, this isn't good. I should have added a layer. Kezi XTTV, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Ah, the free cash. <sighs> Parse language. Wait, why did that not happen? I expected it to do this here. But it did not for some reason. This is in the non full. The what line is this so that we can set a break a point to eleven? Okay, we've got our layer. 
Okay. Oh. Ah. Interesting. Well, that might be a problem. That layer is not supposed to be empty. Because the XDTV says nice follow alert. Yeah, I wrote the code for it myself. It's not perfect. I plan to improve it at some point, but a lot, a lot of time. And if it just says, I think it's the first time I spent my points not gambling. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yes, stir the dict. Yes, indeed. Indeed, Jenny Pie. Um. Okay, it's still correct. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Okay, so this should match the env layer. Hello? Oh, it did. It just, the code looks weird. The debugger confused me. Hmm. This should have matched. It should have found this here. It's mad about the word boundary? What? Uh, did I forget the raw string? No. That's fine. A to Z underscore plus. Oh, there's a colon. There's a, f wait, no, I have a colon here. Shit. I shouldn't have done quit. I got too 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 hasty. Okay. So that matches it's this word boundary here because there's no word to make a word boundary at got it so i can just put this like a so and then we should get further i didn't mean to exit out of that but whatever it's fine okay so Wait, what? <laughs> oh. This 
was supposed to be the not minimal one. Or the minimal one. Aw, oh, shit. This is the not minimal one, too. Oops. Alright, we gotta download the minimal one, then. Cool, we got our one filling test. Dino says seasoned cheesy potato goodness. Oh man, the cheesy fiesta potatoes. Very good. Also. Like even although they did get rid of um they did get rid of both the cheesy fiesta potatoes and um and the fries at the same time. Serial open air during shell check pie build on Nyx. And this chat is why I fucking hate Nyx. Because there's no fucking way that this is a problem with shell check pie. Um. Name or service not known. Yeah, this is definitely a problem with whatever fuckery you're doing. There's all this weird ass shit you're installing. Uh, definitely, definitely not our problem. Good luck with your issue. <laughs> anyway. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Savage? I feel like that wasn't that savage. It was it's kind of amusing. Present! Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, test parse and simple. So we can just do Sexpected chat. <laughs> Sexpected. <laughs> Start with the trivial case, of course. And we have to do a quoted case. Uh, oh, I guess we have to do a language as well. Keep taking playing. Uh, path. And we should also do a test with multiple environment variables. Um, A equals one, B equals two.
as I expected. Um, Rosan says, thanks, I'm from Brazil. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Clip T9M says, can you explain what that decorator is doing? I can indeed, and I have done it before. So there is two videos about parameterize. Check out the 27 one first. That'll go over the basics of parameterize, and then 174 goes over some slightly more advanced use cases of parameterize. Uh, but the TLDR is it makes a bunch of tests out of some table inputs. Oh, I'm out of tomatoes. Need to import schlex. Schlex. Uh, for red equals. Do we do it in a list comp? No. For part in schlex dot split m layer. Um, k comma v equals part dot split equals one. If, well, let's just do red k equals v, and that'll get some of our test passing. Oh, my test is written wrong. Duh. Did I do the other ones wrong? The other ones look uh... Okay, so now we need to handle a path properly. Uh, the videos will show you the location of the nuclear vessel. Perhaps filter. Sorry says, what version of Python do you usually develop in? Currently 3.8. Um, mostly because it is convenient to install on the latest LTS release of Ubuntu. Uh, now 3.9 is fine for the most part. Um, AWS Lambda does not support 3.9 yet, so I'm at least stuck on 3.8 until that's done. But also, there's nothing really in 3.9 that I don't that I want at the moment. Um, the three eight works fine for me, but I could use three point ten or three point eleven. Oh, I don't have three point eleven installed. I do have builds for it, but I don't have it installed. Okay. So if k in path ends, otherwise. Dang it. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, so we get that. If part zero dawn starts with. 
Slash. Slash. Then lang parts dot depend. Okay. No slang parts dot insert zero. We're only gonna support adding to the beginning of the end. We do red k equals os dot path set dot join lang parts. Instead of repeating, so PJZ, here's the thing about dry. What you're suggesting is an over dry. Um, I could, of course, you know, make this a, a variable and then not repeat it, but I'm only repeating it twice. And generally, it's not a big deal until you repeat it about three or four times. And even then, sometimes it's fine to copy and paste. Um, like, I, I don't think it makes this any more or less maintainable if I had duplicated that. Uh. So I'm not going to. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. And we will always get a part here. What is Schlecks split to on the empty string? Interesting. Because empty string dot split also gives you that. But if you do empty string split on space, you get this. Because that uplang which is repeated multiple times because of all the times through the loop f strings are so fast that it doesn't matter this code also isn't part of a performance critical section um, so it is incredibly unlikely that the you know 10 nanoseconds this takes is going to make a difference uh, also, the n of this is less than 10. But most, this is costing a microsecond. Which, like, we've spent more time talking about it than it will ever, ever, ever cost in all executions. So, it's not fucking worth it. <laughs> and the amount of time that it would have taken me to type out the additional line for this, also not worth it. Um, but perhaps in some situations, you know, this may be costly. And so perhaps it makes sense, but I would only really encourage those types of refactors. If you run a profiler and the profiler tells you it's slow and then changing it makes the profiler tell you it's not slow. Otherwise you're just kind of wasting your time and getting worried about things that don't really matter. Um, because, yeah. All right, fuck. Okay, we have done all of this information now. Now we need to do the hard parts. Well, hard parts, eh. Uh, in case it turns into user share lang, no, it's not going to change. In fact, it can't change because uh, that would be a breaking change. And yeah. I would not be able to deploy that in a compatible fashion. So we would just, yeah, it basically can't change. Um, now I may change it to allow multiple paths, but that seems very unlikely because why would I change the convention for basically no reason? If it were something that could change, maybe, but it can't. <laughs> um, do I want to work on this now? Yeah, got a decent stream today. I'm really not feeling well, so I think we're gonna wrap it up there. Now that we got we got this chunk done, and we just have to do these two chunks later. But we have the code written for pulling this down. It's really about pulling it and extracting, and then this should be straightforward. Uh, it's really just taking this 
information that we've just built up here and substituting the variables in. Um, so yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, DL says, call tonight, get some nacho fries and get some sleep. Oh my God, where's the closest Taco Bell? Uh, Taco Bell 48105. Holy shit, that's so far away. Those are so far away. Hmm. And then stream again. <laughs> uh, I once walked to this Taco Bell. So I, I lived in this dorm right here. Uh, so right here. And we decided to walk all the way to this Taco Bell. <laughs> And crazy ass college kids. Anyway, let's go wrap us up. My name is Anthony. Uh, I upload my previous content to YouTube. That is youtube.com slash Anthony. Oh, I forgot to upload today's video. Shit. Well, on YouTube, you can get previous streams as well as educational videos that I try and upload daily, but apparently I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I've been busy, so I haven't been able to record as much either. So I will hopefully have a new video tomorrow for you. Um, I normally stream on Monday evenings and Saturday at noon, and I announce my streams in two places. One of those is on Twitter. The other is on the Discord. Please join the Discord. I'm trying to get to Discord partners, so if you want to help out, just open up the Discord and read some channels. Occasionally talk. That'll <laughs> either <laughs> any of those work out. But yeah, I usually announce what I'm going to work on, and then we do it, which is cool. And everybody might have real restaurants. Yeah, we have lots of real restaurants. And <laughs> was shitty needs more Taco Bells. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for stopping by and let us go find someone to raid.